just walk into a room like people are looking for you. I was told my whole career just making a drama with black people, you know, is hard, not to mention a historical drama with black people with a female, a black female um, lead in the title role. So I think um, it was the perfect moment to make it, you know, um, Cynthia and I like to think, you know, Harriet was waiting for us. Like now is a great time to be a filmmaker of color. I mean, it, it, it's, it's really a great time. It is, it is possible, you know, um, a lot of us were doing it when it was really not obvious that it was possible. And now you have examples of, of you know, filmmakers of color and women, and you um, have an opportunity. I always tell my students, they're looking for you. Like, they, you know, they're actually, we're actually in a time where people are looking for you. Is it temporary? I don't know. I don't know. So my advice is to go get yours now. Like, go, don't let anything stop you. Just go do it, do it, do it now. It's a hard job and every part of it is hard. And even though I suspected that from the beginning, um, there's something reassuring about that now to me, you know, um, that I'm proud of. It's like, I do something that's really hard and I've done it many times. It's part of the way that I look at myself as somebody who can do something very hard. Um, so it's like embracing the hard is what I would say. I look at a pitch almost like a monologue. You know, it's, it's a, it has a dramatic aspect to it, your storytelling. And so the interesting thing, when you write a screenplay and you submit it, you can't feel that, that age old storytelling, you know, where, where you, you can see if people lean closer over the fire as you tell a story. You can see their eyes, you can see if you've got them in the palm of your hand. In pitching, you have an opportunity to do that. You have an opportunity to almost be an old fashioned storyteller. I would say if you can't tell the story of it, uh, you're not gonna be able to write the screenplay. My favorite thing about filmmaking is that it's an empathetic art form, right? We're trying to take you into somebody else's experience that, that is not your own experience, right? That might be outside of your, your worldview or, you know, it, or that's, that's travel, in space and time, you know, that's not even in your time period. And yet you, um, you feel things as if they just happened. So for instance, in Talk to Me, I was able to recreate the King assassination in a way that was incredibly um, visceral. And that is very powerful for a generation of people who, who did not experience that. Um, and that can become political to remind people of the past, but also, as we know, you know, the past is, is, is present and, and it's not past at all. It's right here and it's the future. And, and um, if we're not, there, there are things that we need to learn that we must learn from the past in order not to repeat it over and over again. And by getting next to that feeling, we create, um, first of all, you know, not, you can bring a lot of knowledge, but also empathy, you know, um, and, and maybe you, you look at it a little differently than you did before you saw the movie. Cynthia was amazing, is just a, a force of nature, just phenomenal and was just down for every part of it, including, yeah, walking in freezing water in the middle of the night. Um, that was a hard night. The weather was challenging. It rained quite a bit. And um, so we, you know, we had some weather challenges and we had some um, critter challenges and we, you know, we were in the woods at night and that was a more than a notion. But however, you know, uncomfortable we might have been, we're recreating something that is so different than our experience where we can put on a coat or get in a car, right? Um, this, we're trying to recreate what it is like for runaway freedom seekers, you know, enslaved people that were trying to get to, get to freedom, often escaped. Harry did most of her work in the winter. Why? Because the nights are longest, right? So they're cold, you know, they, they leave with what basically they have on their bodies and um, they're cold and they're hunted and they're afraid and they, they don't have maps, you know? So even though Harry was a, was a hard movie, 
um, we were all very aware that you know it, it was it was hard um, in a kind of first world way, you know, in a kind of privileged way. We had the privilege of being a little bit cold, um, so that we could begin to access what it was like for these people so that we could bring that to life. So yeah, we, you know, we were, we were a little wet and cold and, um, and it was hard, but it wasn't that hard. 